The Austin City Council today approved a pilot program giving 85 families $1,000 a month for a year. A nonprofit is already running a similar program funded through private dollars. They'll now oversee the taxpayer funded program. KB's Matt Fernandez has the story. This is my oldest. I don't have a picture of my daughter when she was younger. This is proud mother Lena Gibson Alexander. She's a mother of four and grandmother of six. Alexander has lived in Austin for 33 years. All four of my children are, are my heart and my motivation. They're my reason that I'm still here. A year ago, Alexander fell on tough times and was facing eviction. It was scary. It was scary because it was, uh, I didn't have a plan B. Alexander sought help from the organization called Up Together. It's been around in Austin since 2018. They work with governments and philanthropists to invest in communities and help low-income families. Alexander was part of a pilot program where she received $1,000 a month for a year. There is an increase in everything. I feel like gas prices, rent, cost of living in itself has increased. Alexander says with this funding, she was able to get by and also support her two sons who were in their 20s who were living with her they faced eviction too. <laughs> Thursday, Austin City Council approved a million dollar program similar to the program Alexander was going through. The city will provide one million dollars to 85 families in Austin, which comes from the general fund. Up Together will oversee the program providing a thousand dollars a month for those 85 families. It did have some opposition. Council member Mackenzie Kelly was not at the meeting and did not vote today but did issue a statement in part which says, I do not believe that the proposed guaranteed income pilot is the solution to Austin's affordability problem. As Austin City Council member, I want our community to have a better quality of life. Under the program, certain criteria must be met to qualify. Looking at identifying people that are facing eviction filings, looking at folks that have uh, the past due, history of past due utilities, and then looking uh, at uh, folks that are uh, that have been homeless but are trying to get into supportive housing. Alexander believes this funding will help others like it did her. I know for a fact it's going to be life changing. It's going to have a huge positive impact. In Austin, Matt Fernandez, KVU News.